Here with reaction, though, is Missouri Senator Josh Hawley, who is also present at today's classified briefing. He's also introducing a bill to require all social media users to be at least 16 years of age. Senator, good to have you. Uh, I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall. I'm dying to know, uh, are we shooting down balloons? Are we shooting down objects? Is there any chance that E.T. has arrived? What hap you know, what's happening here? Yeah, you know, the way things are going, Sean, I think we might be better off in this country if aliens ran the White House. Sometimes I wonder if that is what's happening. <laughs> Listen, they don't know what they're doing. They didn't, they didn't tell us. They, they don't know what they shot down. They, don't, they haven't recovered any of the objects that they shot down, these last three. None of them. They haven't gotten any of them. If they have, they, they told us otherwise today. And as far as I can tell, Sean, the only reason that they're really shooting these things down right now is they got embarrassed by the fact that Joe Biden let a Chinese spy balloon cross the entire continental United States and didn't do anything about it until it had taken all the pictures that it wanted. That's what's really going on here. There is nobody who appears to be in control or actually running this ship. I don't know where Joe Biden is or what he's doing, but he doesn't appear to be in charge. Senator, you got to explain this to me, and I think the American people have the same question is, how do you shoot something down, but you don't know what you shot at? Great question, Sean. That's exactly the question that uh, was posed today in this briefing that you just mentioned. And they don't have answers for that. They said they don't know how to. I, when I say they, I mean the Pentagon. I mean the intelligence community. They say, well, we don't know how to classify these things. They're not balloons, but we're not sure what they are, which begs the question, then why are we shooting them down? They said they didn't think they posed any hostile intent. And I go back, Sean, to what I said a second ago. I think the reason all of a sudden the administration wants to shoot down anything that flies is because they got embarrassed. They got caught lying to the American people. You know, Joe Biden didn't even know that this spy balloon was over Alaska when it was over Alaska. They didn't tell him, which goes back to the question, who's really running this operation? Who's who's making the calls? Doesn't appear to be Joe Biden. Well, let me ask you this. If if they don't know what they shot at and don't know what they shot down, how come they're also saying, on the other hand, that it's likely not a ch from the communist Chinese? They don't even know what they shot at. Yeah, exactly, Sean. They are all every which way on this. None of their answers make sense. I came out of that briefing thinking that nothing that they said added up. And so here's, here's my conclusion. Either they're lying to us, which is very possible, considering that they lied about the Chinese spy balloon, or they're totally and completely incompetent. Or maybe it's both, which might be the most frightening possibility of all, but maybe the most likely. In either respect, we are not getting straight answers. And you know what? Joe Biden could solve this. He could go on national TV. He could level with the American people and say, here's what we know. Here's what we did, why we did it. But I don't think he'll do that, Sean, because it's not clear to me that he's actually making the decisions here. I don't know who's really in charge. I don't know where he is, but he doesn't appear to be the one calling the shots. What do you think that the intentions of the communist Chinese are? To me, it's obviously nefarious. Uh, it's, it's a pretty, you know, it's, a, it's an invasion of our airspace. I mean, one has to wonder, what if they wanted to have a, a, some type of bio attack on the U.S.? Was this a trial balloon, no pun intended? Uh, was this uh, perhaps a, a test for a possible uh, EMP event down the line in the future. Uh, they're showing a lot of geopolitical hostilities in the Straits of Taiwan as we speak. I mean, what, what, what were the Chinese thinking here? Obviously, they don't have any fear of Joe Biden. Yeah, I think this was an attempt to rattle our cage, Sean. I do think that this was basically them uh, putting their finger in our eye and telling us that, hey, we can fly a, a spy balloon right over your country and there's nothing you can do about it. And that's the that's the message that the administration sent as well to the whole world that the United States, this administration will not act when they know that there is a foreign object that is spying on us in our own airspace. But you can't tell me this wasn't deliberate. You know, even if the balloon, even if the Chinese didn't mean for the balloon to get over the continental United States, and I don't buy that that's the case, Sean, they certainly maneuvered it once it was here, right over the middle of the country, over my state, over our military installations, they did all of that very deliberately. They very knew that, that everybody knew about it by that point. And so that is what they're trying to do here, I think, is, is show us that they can do it and basically troll us. They're trolling us and Joe Biden.
Well, and then, of course, when our defense secretary reached out to his counterpart in China and they wouldn't take his call, that spoke volumes. Let's talk about this, uh, what you would like to have a, an age limit as it relates to social media. Tell us about that. Well, here's the thing. I think we ought to say to these social media companies, Sean, quit targeting our kids. Let's set an age threshold, 16. You got to be 16 before the social media companies can let you open up an account before they can go after you. We ought to give parents, because I'm control here, put them back in the driver's seat. I've got three kids. You know, parents all over the country would love to know that these companies cannot target their children, cannot let them open up accounts until they're 16 years of age. Let's protect our kids when they're at their most vulnerable. Well, can't we do that through the devices that they have? If there are certain controls parents have. You know, Sean, we can try that. I can just tell you, you know, I, I don't think I'm a stupid guy. I'm not, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but my 10 year old, he already knows more about my phone than I do. And, you know, may, maybe that that's says a, more about me point. than anybody else. But I just think it, I just think it's hard for parents to keep up. And I think if the rule was, Social media companies couldn't let the kids on until they're 16, and social media companies have to verify the kids' age. Boy, I think you'd help parents a lot, and the kids. All right, Senator Hawley, we appreciate you being with us. Thank you.